Viewer discretion is advised. I'm not as irresponsible as Logan Paul to post some really disturbing material on YouTube, but the following video is about 77.76% sodium chloride. And yes, you guessed right, that is the main component of salt. So yes, the following video is full of salt. Excuse me in advance and hope you have a nice view. Hello and welcome back everyone, the name is Kahankyo and the game is Pokemon Duel. The thing is, I am already close to 3900. I'm 14 rating away, which means basically one win against a regular opponent. And that will be a step closer to 4000 rating. Which goes to show that 4000 rating is not impressive anymore because even I can reach it. So, let's just top this little booster down here to see what kind of crap I'm gonna- Oh, I forgot to record it. Well, that sucks. Oh, I actually have this recording, so I'm gonna use this recording later on because I am collecting all those booster openings off this month month to make a little booster opening montage at the end of it so you can all see what kind of shenanigans I got out of this and uh, is it worth to whale or not there is gonna be a booster a new banner actually not a new booster but a new banner at the 17th of the month but I'm pretty uh, pretty stoked about opening some because I do have the gems the New Year's is C level 1 I mean the new banner may be or may not be amazing but I really really just want those plus C level 1 monsters because even 1 EX is like 2 EX and 2 EX is like 4 EX and 1 rare is like 4 rare because of that chain level on it it's super great I mean it's it's just it's just worth it if you ask me gem wise, okay? So we're gonna get like this is for Tyranitars. This is very good because my Tyranitar is already C level 7 out of this after this New Year's thing banner. There's gonna be another rare, which is a Pan Pangoro, which is not bad. I mean, 110 one on this Pangoro, 100 after the evolution plus the 10 C levels, that would be 110. And for this night, this is the Oricori Pau style. This is 10 Oricurio power style because at 1c level is 9 Oricurios plus the Oricurio it's attached to it's 10 Oricurios another Gathita here 10 Gathitas actually it's just it's just worth it so come on give me some EX here there's gonna be a uh, ro rolling road blaster rock okay there's a Liligant okay that's level 2 Liligant um I'm not getting any EXs which is really quite sad frankly speaking but uh okay there we go that is gonna be an EX, which is exciting, and that's gonna be a Charizard, another Charizard to my collection. That's two Charizard, basically speaking, right there. That's gonna be another blue Polwirl. I hope that was not my guaranteed EX. Another Yellow Glow, it's another EX, okay. And that's gonna be a Zabdos, awesome. That is C level one Zabdos, which uh, this, this is four EX figures right there. So. It may not be the best thing, but it's not definitely not the worst, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm just gonna go here to my fusion. I don't know if I have enough money or, or whatever here to do it, but um, I definitely wouldn't say no to another it's level 10 Zabby, bro. So, uh, what do I have here? I have them locked. So, let's unlock them. Come on, Zabby, bro. Okay, let's unlock them. And fuse one or both of them in something. So let's see. If I do it like this, where are you? If I do it like this, I do level two and plus two C levels. If I do it like this, it goes exactly the same. Oh wah wah. Okay. It's level three, right? What am I been doing? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna do this Zapdos anyway. Because at some point in time, I would like another Zapdos. I know I'm greedy and it sounds greedy because Zapdos is our, our, I'm a pirate. <laughs> are not uh, the exciting type or the type that is rare to see, if you ask me, around. But they're definitely pretty cool. I mean, two Zabdoses in your deck is a devastating tool to go around with. Because Tapu Koko is, is the meta. Tapu Koko is the thing that people fear. 
God dang it, I don't need this. Oh, and 200 more. Where am I gonna get 200 more? Well, let's make this guy. Let's, let's use this thing in. The polywag. I want to have at some point three figures of all figures. And there are some figures that there's just no point in having three of because the evolution line of them uh, kind of doesn't require you to do to, to have that. So you don't really need to. But having another Zabdos in really nice sea levels and, and levels and everything, it's good because at some point there's going to be another electric gem where the electric Pokemon will have three MP and you would like to have a really nice, great, uh, strong Zabdos in that, uh, in that area because he's just going to be great at soaring over other Pokemon and getting to the location. And even if there's a fire gym thing going through and you have, you know, enemy uh, Moltres running around with 3 MP, you would like to have a Zabdos with your goal to 110 to be able to defend your uh, your team or whatever not. I did manage to get everything in the Quinn's Cup here, including the cube, which I fused into my Magarina. I'm trying out different decks and different things in general in the uh, in the Pokemon thing. So just maybe we try this new deck that I wanted. Well, this is actually a really nice, interesting Zygarde deck with uh, double force remove and nothing purple at all in my team to, to go with it. And I also have my Reshiram finally level 5 with 9 C levels on it. This is just an amazing strong Reshiram right there, able to destroy people. This is also a really fun deck, but it's not really strong against many people. So. I don't know what I want to use here. Maybe get a new deck or something. Let's let's make this deck. Like this is a really long setup deck, but it really works well against the current power creeps or whatever not. The Lunala against uh, Cocos against many things. It does seem to work decently well because I did fuse that one C level into the Magarita, and uh, now with the Steel Energy, she goes 131 by default. And every single one of your Pokemon on the PC increases her damage by 3, giving her extra C levels, generally speaking. Plus, that uh, change gears, the blue is so nice, I like it, I like it really much. I encountered a little bug, I don't know if it, that is uh, legit or not, but I got status affected in uh, uh, with the Magarna after I had switched gears, and it so much happened that I lost the 3 MP and went to 2 MP, and my dodge became a miss because it was burned. I don't know if it just backed out because I was in the uh, in the Carmonte Carnival event, so maybe that was just some glitcher of some sort. We definitely need to test it out. But I'm searching for a dual opponent, and outside right now is just cataclysmically windy. It's extraordinarily windy. I mean, if you drive a bike, you're probably gonna fall off on your ass. It's pretty decently scary, I'd say. But hey, living on an island has its perks and cons, and unfortunately wintertime is the big ass con here. So, hopefully we don't encounter any bots around here. Even though I do want to restock on my boosters, frankly, I still believe that uh, a real player is a lot better to face when you're playing. Also, I did manage to make my uh, Combuskin sea level, sea level 6 or level 6. No, level 10, C level 5, or C level 6. So soon my Combuskin is going to be also C level 10, and that's going to be 70 damage. Okay, there we go. An opponent is found. It took a while. Maybe it's not a bot. Could it be Job 3,110 with Lunala Crobats. This is a really nice, decent poison deck. But I do have the Steel Energy and a lot of Steel Pokemon to counteract it. But uh, there's only Crobats that can potentially be doing bad to me, so I'm just gonna go steal energy straight out of the bat, so they can't poison me. And then I'm gonna just send out my Magarita out on the field, because she's the one, I believe, that can potentially be doing dirty things on, especially, or depending on where the enemy goes. So, what I wanna do now is go a little bit defensive. Frankly speaking, I just wanna go defensive, so I don't lose right about now and it depends is there a Gengarite yeah there's a Gengarite okay that is actually really sad so I'll probably have to take out my Tapu Koko next in the middle right here 
and then try and take this guy out to try and... Oh, he's going to attack me. Okay. That is uh, ballsy, I'd say. Okay, that is great. I didn't die there, nor I got poisoned. So I'm just going to take my Tapu Kogo out here. And hopefully he takes out the Gengar so I can take out something else like... Uh, I'm sorry about that. Like maybe Scyther or uh, my Garena out. Okay, he's going to go defensive on that. Very nice. So let's try... Let's try what else do we have? Let's try... Maybe go ahead and stand here. Maybe go ahead and stand there because now I can sit around with my Heatran if he doesn't go away. And I can go and grab their entry point if they decide to, you know, be smart about it or whatever not. So he's going to be smart about it. Great play from him. And props to him, but I'm going to be double chancing right now because that is an opportunity for me to get an evolution straight out of here for the uh, Magneton into Magnezone. And that's not going to happen because Shuttle Flip. But as you can see, I get a ton of damage from that tri attack because of the Steel Energy and because of the Tapu Koko. Everything working out for me. Okay. We'll have to try again because that is fine. I probably can't surround him even there. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna go here. Wait a minute, what happened there? Why is his turn yet? He just moved, didn't he? Oh, he shuttle flipped. Okay, okay. Now it's his turn. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay. Well, now I will take the Magirna out, I think. He doesn't want to give me the evolution, which is totally understandable. And I would do the same. I would take my Pokemon away from that guy that wants to evolve on me. But there's going to be a Lunala. Okay. Well, you know what, Lunala? Just going to take my Scyther out here and use the plate, the metal coat, to evolve it into Scissor. And Scissor won't be affected by Lunala's decrease and stuff attacks. Which is good enough. And let's do that right now. The metal coat on this guy. And the turn. Pretty effective. You know that you can use Metal Cold on this uh, Magneton, but I'm not sure he's going to evolve. Which is uh, interesting in its own way. But then there's the um, Venusaur on the field. And we're going to see the other Crobat pop through. And I believe that this is about the time I do the Electro Energy and end my turn. So, now my board is set up. I'm pretty fun. I do have my Heatran on the on the, on the bench, which can potentially surround that uh, Crobat or whatever not. I will be moving up with my Tapu Koko on the side here, not attacking yet, but I will be moving my Magneton closer to attack that little buddy here, the one that wants to shuttle flip away. So I'm just going to stand over here. So it's like, I'm not going aggressive. You can chill out. But I am going to go aggressive. I'm going to go aggressive next turn when and if he decides to try put the Mega Gengar out. But there's obviously some things like the Dark Energy or Phantom Energy that he wants to pull out. Okay, then we're going to go against the Tri-Attack. Plus 30, plus 10. It's going to be 99 damage to him. I can't be poisoned or Noxus because of the Steel Energy. And I'm pretty happy with this result. So, now we'll have this power creep, the Magnezone, that gets plus a ton of damage because of his passive, because of Steel Energy, and now, especially touching Coco is because of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, electro Energy. So, there's probably going to be a Phantom Energy going through, okay. And this Lunala probably would like to attack or whatever not, but she won't uh, just yet. So I'm just going to pop this guy through, and he's going to shuttle flip. Iron Head is there. Iron Head of 122 is pretty dangerous, honestly speaking, because that 10 damage is increased, increased after you have to do your damage. So if, if I was attacked by Lunala, she would go make me 55, right? And plus 10, 65. That's good enough to kill her if I manage to roll that ability. Okay. Well, I want to get my Zabdos closer, so if the Lunala decides to advance a little closer to me, I could either surround her or surround with the Scissor afterwards. I want to have the Scissor as a defender because of the dodge and the wide attack. It's good enough for me. And I can also go here 
and paralyze that Lunala so she doesn't have any of the attack, any of my Pokemon right there. And I really hope she touches this uh, this guy. Because if she does so, then everybody else is connected. And I will paralyze every single one of them. <laughs> but hey, we don't want the Mega Gengar to go and, do, and go to our goal, so I'm just gonna stand real back here. I do have the Max Revive. Just good enough. So there's gonna be probably, yeah, Pokemon switching to what? Okay. This is uh, interesting and intriguing. You can attack that, but you can't potentially kill it, I think. Because that plus 10 damage goes after the fact that you attack me. And I do have this humongous, humongous purple as well. So I could potentially be paralyzing every single one of those backliners here that are just chilling. And then grabbing the entry on the next turn. We'll have to see what happens with the e trend though. There's gonna be a Gengar ride going through. Okay, this is now exciting. Ooh. <laughs> well, we'll have to see. He's gonna go here. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Um, I still can have this guy backtrack, like Mega Evolving backtrack. So how about... How about I attack here and hope to get the white? Oh, the Tox is going to go through, but I won't be intoxicated because of the plate. And he's probably going to go for the Tapu Koko. That is the correct plate to do right now. I would do that if I were the guy. But he's going to go for the attack. That is ballsy AF right there. But I see it. I totally see it. I'm just going to go Scissor Ride right here. I'm going to go Scissor Ride, and I'm going to be defending myself. Because that Lunala will be advancing the next turn. That was always set up, so... Let's go here. I am still, so I do get the bonus from that steel energy that we talked about earlier. And this is interesting to see. Is he going to attack or is he going to bring the Lunala closer? He's going to go and surround the Heatran, which is interesting in its own way. And he's going to attack the Magarna as well. It's going to be a dazzling gleam into the 141. Interesting, 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 interesting. Very interesting. There's going to be a spin. He doesn't have any gold attacks. So he's gonna just stand there, which is fine, which is totally fine. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna be removing probably my marker on those two guys there, so I can attack them and probably kill them in the next turn, because that Mega Ginger has only one turn to go through, and I do still have the Max Revive if I need to get the Hatron out of the field to defend. Hatron can, like, hold his own against the Lunala for a while, there's going to be a double chance. He's going to go for it. Wow. This is boldly play light right there. Okay. Come on. Get cracked. <laughs> the 120 towards the 121. He can't increase his attacks because of that metal plate that I use. And he's going to make me wrist spin. He's going to go again. And I'm not going to go to his PC. Which is okay. Which is definitely okay. And I'm going to be testing one thing that I wanted to test for a really long time. Can I max revive my own Pokemon? Nope. Only my own PC is the Pokemon that I can be reviving. So I'm just going to revive this guy. Backtrack here. Uh, I think probably here is the best option. To stand on my goal. And defend. There's probably the Crobat going through right now. Or the Lunala. Okay. Do we have a counter-attack though? Okay, we have a scoop up. Let's do this. Let's defend here. Let's defend. So I do have a little bit of, um, of room to move. And how about I attack at the Crobat on the next turn? How about that? Okay, there's still gonna be more defenses going through. Okay. That was interesting. Let's attack right now. Maybe if he doesn't roll the Shadow Flip, I will be in a really fantastic spot and I will kill him but that means I will get poisoned and the next turn that Gengar comes out he can potentially get through on the field through me so I'll have to cycle that Zabras away for something different probably but I will be defending with my scissor because I do not trust that Lunala at all so that's that she's gonna advance on me okay wow okay there is going to be the Moon Guys Beam that is so annoying against my Iron Head. Oh, this could be game right there. 
This is gonna be game. If my scissor rolls the yellow, I win. But if it rolls the white against her purple, I don't think I have a chance. There's a huge ass chance that I win this roll right now. But uh, it's not gonna happen because the dodge is gonna roll through and I will be defeated by a Lunala. Once again, I'd like to say, because this just happens, and to a 34-91 player. That's quite sad, frankly. But hey, RNG is RNG. You can you can hold the game as much as you want. If you do let Pokemon on your flank, you will get busted, and that's what happened. He fortified his own goal right there. Pretty um, fair, I'd say, that he did that. I should have gotten for the Lunala a lot sooner. But that Mega Gengar kind of took me out of he of my track. So, let's just go again because I like this deck a little bit. The setup is decent. I just need a little bit more time, I think. And start killing people off before they do many bad things to me. In that matter. So, for the time being, we're searching for a dual opponent. And there's a lot of Lunala, so we'll have to deal with a Lunala first place. Maybe I should switch some plates for double chances. Or maybe for a Gallblock. The Max Revive was... Uh, was not very used. I mean, Max Revive is in every deck today, but uh, just maybe something more utility-based. Max Revive could help you, but Max Revive won't help you roll the thing that you need. And one double chance right there could be the difference from a win to a loss, but I usually get myself a double chance in the beginning of a battle to get the advantage, like the evolution, okay? Which didn't happen the time I wanted it, and I couldn't utilize my uh, Magneton or Magnezone, whatever that Megatron Pokemon is, in the way I would want it to. But uh, I believe that one, uh, alongside with a lot of Jolteons, could potentially be a demise of uh, some really nice enemies. But hey, RNG is RNG. That's what happens. If we win, it's RNG. If we lose, it's still RNG. And some bad plays could be explained. Some other bad plays couldn't be explained. That Lunala let there was a bad play by me. I should have backtracked a lot of my Pokemon, started defending against it, and only then advance. But uh, I was already up, and it happened. So, we're searching for a dual opponent still, and the ability effects differ between Pokemon, and some can be activated manually by the player. Attack damage is reduced by 40 when you're noxious. This is genius. <laughs> okay. The wind is playing with the windows upstairs. It's, it's just annihilating everything. Wow. I wish we had some Pokemon. Like, this would explain how oh, Lugia is probably outside doing stuff. <laughs> you know, with his Cyclones shit. <laughs> but we don't have any Pokemon. We only have animals. I would love to live in a freaking Poke World or something. Or Digi World. I prefer Digi World, frankly speaking. Digimon are just better, in my opinion. But unfortunately, Digimon games suck balls compared to Pokemon games. So that's why we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> okay, Dual Opponent is found already. Finally, I mean, say finally. And let's see who it is. Hopefully, not a really low rank player. Okay. 3000 rank. What is this? <laughs> like, if I lose to this guy, I'm gonna lose like a gazillion ton of points. And I will lose to this guy because RNG's. Jesus. <laughs> so level 10, level 10, Lunala that seems to be. And it's my turn. Mm -hmm. So let's pop some energies here. What do we have? Let's pop the Electro Energy. I guess we do have a couple of Electro Pokemon, three to be exact. And that'd be great to, uh, to have. So let's pop this guy on the field straight away. Because that's the only counter to Lunala at this specific moment in time. And she has the uh, Moon thing expanded. So that's that. Okay, let's go for the metal coat here. And if that Soul Galio decides to get through, I will probably try and attack it with my uh, Heatran. I know the last time that I did, it didn't go well. And it's probably gonna suck balls if I do again and it fails. But uh, let's go here and defend a little. Let him grab that entry if he wants to really bad. Let him have it. And that is the chance I'm waiting for. Because that is actually the chance I want to evolve my my uh, my guy. That's the, the chances I'm using the the double chance for. Is he Mele Mele? This is game, and he's gonna Mele Mele. Why is this? this? You see what I'm talking about when the RNG is RNG, and he's gonna Mele Mele. He's fucking Solgaleo, and he's gonna win the game. And this is stupid. 
this to me is really stupid. Yes, I should have said the Pokemon are my goal and blah blah. It's annoying to a point which is just retarded. First of all, why am I 3800 paired with 3000 right now? 60 points down, 30 more monthly rating down. Why? Why is this happening for a start? Let's, let's begin with that, okay? Because I'm getting right, really salty right about now about this. Why am I paired with that? And why can't I, like, roll the one thing that the fucking game wants me to roll for once when I needed to roll? How stupid is this? Okay, let's play the most conservative game in history of fucking Pokemon Duel because now I'm tilted AF and I will do everything exactly as I'm supposed to do it in the time that I'm supposed to do it. Good luck, Green. Good luck, my buddy. Whatever. With your Gengarite and your meta deck. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna do exactly everything that I have supposed to do. I'm gonna set up my energies. I'm gonna set up my Pokemon. I'm gonna do everything the way I want it. So my turn. It's my turn. It's my, I'm not gonna take anything out. I'm gonna put up my uh, Steel Energy this time. So I have some more damage. I don't care. Okay, so let's see. Will you put out the Tapu Koko? Interesting to see. Are you gonna? There's gonna be Tapu Koko. Okay, let's send out the Magarina because the Magarina is a very steel type Pokemon which will not be affected by the Tapu Kokos uh, passing through. So he cannot get through through me. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Let's see. What's next? I'm guessing Gengar? Yeah, it's Gengar. Gengar is going out. What is the best solution against a Gengar? I'd be guessing the huge eyes purple on the huge eyes yellow and a little bit of purple and, and blue. So yellow, purple, and blue is probably the best case scenario. Let's put the Zabdas on the boat. I'm guessing here. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing. So let's let's do that. Okay. Zabdas on the go. There's gonna be a mega evolution going through. Gengarite. Okay, green. How are you gonna attack the Magarina though? Are you? Yeah, he's going for the Madeira. Okay. We can still do this. There's going to be a Toxic. I have the Steel Energy up. I'm not going to be intoxicated. Or whatever that is. So I'm just going to stand on my goal. Okay. This is taken again. And I'm going to send something different to defend behind the Zabdas because that's probably the correct play to do right now. Okay? So, is he going to attack again? There's going to be a double chance. Yes. And that's gonna be against the Zapdos. Okay. Let's see it happen. Zapdos is gonna roll the 110 against the 141. And boom. We get yourself the kill. And now it's a situation where I usually max revive the Zapdos to go this guy. But he has a lot of white. So let's do double chance here. Let's get the Heatran out. And maybe try to roll the purple against his white. Because that is now the best play available and we're gonna roll a miss player only again and we're gonna roll the best attack available to heatran while having the, the, the fucking magma slide available and this is gonna lose me the game again because fucking rng yeah this this is salty this right here is fucking chips with salt and i would even say it's salt with chips okay Fucking RNG. Fucking game. Fuck you. And this is why you don't get yourself funny decks. You don't get yourself smart decks. You don't get yourself cool decks. Because the fucking meta deck is gonna annihilate the shit and the crap out of you. Whatever you do. As you saw with my meta deck, with, with whatever I had, the Sceptile, Mega Sceptile and everything, I climbed 38 and 80. Moth, uh, personal already, right? That was my meta deck climbing IF. And the moment I switch up to something more interesting and something more viewable, I get crap like this to happen. And there we go, Sage with 3000 rating, but fuck my life right now. I don't even want to win this guy. Like, for real, I don't, I really don't want to win this guy. But hey, we're gonna do it. God dang it, motherfucker. Stupid ass game, man. I, I, I just hate it at moments like this. I just fucking hate it. So let's go here with the freaking Coco bitch and see what kind of a result we can grab out of here. Okay. And I'm not even gonna attack because if I attack, I'm gonna roll a miss or he's gonna roll 17,000 times and win. 
So I'm just gonna stand here and let him do his moves because the bots here usually when you lose as, as badly as I did and you lose a gazillion points in just a couple of minutes, they're gonna like, hey, you can win, chill out, don't break your phone. Talking about the phone, it's acting weird AF. It's like I charged it and it's already probably super low on battery because I can feel it burning. And uh, with the cracked screen, it's just annoying. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy a new phone. I'm really thinking about it. I'm gonna still buy exactly the same phone, but new. Or if I go and fix it, I'm gonna fix the screen and the battery at the same time. But the repair dude that I know, he's like, uh, I'm calling him, he's like, nah, I'm not picking up. So, that's that, and I don't wanna take it to anybody weird or strange, because those guys hacking phones and find your personal infos and take your Pokemon accounts from you. And we don't want that, do we? So, let's see, Duel of is found. Let's hope for a, for a high-ranked player with the shit RNG that we have. Let's hope for that, okay? So, I'm gonna see X and blum blum blum. Exactly the same rating as us. Pretty nice, decent right there. With all the meta Pokemon in the deck as well. Except maybe Cabalion. Cabalion is not as popular, but uh, he's still pretty dope. Nice to see that one. Okay, broski, you have a pretty interesting mask. So that tells me that you're probably someone Who's, uh, who's playing this game pretty efficiently and, you know, gives it time or whatever not. So, I'm guessing there's gonna be a Gengar popped out pretty soon on the field. And I don't know which, what should I defend. I have no freaking clue. Probably Heatron is the best option here, I guess. Steel Energy, okay, we're seeing that. That's happening, let's do it. So I'm just gonna pop my Electro energy as well, and I'm guessing that Gengar should be going out on the field right about now That's your best option buddy. Yeah Of course it is And I'm gonna be defending this guy That guy because of the Magnus light, but that's basically it. I don't know. I don't trust him at all, but uh, hey So Gengar is gonna grab that entry, which is fine enough. I don't really give a damn about him as long as it doesn't get do mega and attacks me, that's about, that's about how, how much I don't care. So he's gonna grab that entry pretty good. Okay. And, oh, <laughs> I'm dying here, I think. <coughs> God dang it, man. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna take my Coco defensively a little bit. And I'm gonna set out my board. So there's gonna be a Solga Leo going through. Okay, Broski. And Solga Leo going through means that I can take this guy out. And even potentially attack him with a little fear. Because I could apply a status chance to him to make him a lot more successful to other uh, attacks of mine. So, I'm gonna take this Magarna out. And probably get the Zabdos on the field as well. It depends on where he... Okay, he's gonna go for it. Okay, 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 Broski. Let's go double chance here. Let's go double chance and attack him. Because I don't want him going anywhere close to that uh, Tapu Coco. Okay. Gonna get the 60. Whoa, that's gonna be what? <sighs> gonna risk spin because if I roll the 8, I win. And it's gonna be a dodge. Of course, a dodge because why the hell not? There's gonna be the other one coming through. And so on, so on, so on. So. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna attack them? Very interesting to see if you are. Okay. He is gonna attack. Hopefully he gets status chanced. Okay, there's gonna be a try attack towards the Sunset Strike. He's gonna get what? Now oh, he can be status chanced. He can be status chanced. Why? I don't get it. Them It's, it's no comments, frankly. It's, it's just no comments. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure thing, buddy. Okay. Can I, can I say anything to this? Can I? No? Okay. I'll just show up. He can't be status chance on his turn, right? 
how does it work? I don't know. But hey. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something good happening here. Okay. Okay, something good is happening here. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. <laughs> it's gonna be probably the Mega Go going through right about here. It's gonna be the Mega going through soon. The Sun Steel Strike attacking me, and so on, so on, so on. Well, let's give it a chance here. Let's give it a chance. We kind of managed to push him away here. The Gengar. Okay. And then the Gengar. Right. Right. Anybody wants this account, by the way? It's full of shit RNG and the booster openings usually suck. So if you're interested in that, Give me, give me, give me, I don't know, something, somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter, it, it really doesn't matter. Because this is what I'm getting through every fucking day I play, and it's... Uh, it's not even annoying, frankly, it's just stupid. It's not annoying, it's stupid, okay? It, it just pisses me off AF. So, hopefully you enjoyed getting me salty. If you did, well, GG. If you didn't, put a thumbs down on this fucking video so anybody that isn't subscribed to the channel never sees it and never has to path, pass through the shit that I passed through. So, have a good one.